welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl Gakubu Ruth and today i'm here with a video to tell you what i have learned after three months of wearing these butterfly locks well there has been good and bad and so stay tuned for you to know more so to start off these butterfly locks have been a lifesaver for me because i don't have to keep worrying every other month what hairstyle i'm going to put on Anyone wondering, I installed these um, butterfly locks on the 7th of December 2023. So on the 7th of this month, which will be on Wednesday, today is on a Saturday, 2nd, I will be, uh, I no actually it will be on a Thursday. On the 7th, that will make it sev 3 good months. And there are some good and bad things that I have learned wearing hair, this hairstyle for that long, but mostly good. So the first thing that I have learned is to handle my hair with care, with tender loving and love and care. Because as you can see, my ends, I treat them with the most delicate hands that I can. Because I know my ends are the most delicate part of my hair and about hair growth the most important thing about hair growth is length retention and length retention starts at the ends of your hair so that's why i'm very delicate as you saw there i'm showing you the build up at the play at the bottom of my hair where there is new growth that is it as you can see so there it is that is the end of my hair so I realized that there was some synthetic hair that was left that was covering my hair. So that's what I'm trying to remove. And with this, as you will see, this is also the next part that requires the most tender loving care. Because you don't want to rip your hair at this point. Because this build up causes tangling and there is a lot of lost hair that is being held on to because of this build up. So this is the point where you do take a lot of care and I'm so glad that I installed this hairstyle because one thing that I haven't experienced is breakage. Yes, there is hair loss which is expected after three months and then another thing that I've come to realize is that I lose so much hair along the hairline of my hair because I don't know. On the other parts of my hair, I never lose hair. But on the hair, along the hairline, I lose so much hair. But it's never been bald because, again, I don't install my hair, my hair too tight. My hairstyle is too tight. So this is the one thing that I have learned that with you putting in a hairstyle for so long, you reduce the manipulation. You reduce the amount of work that you have to do every other day to take care of your hair. And at the same time, you retain so much length. But this is dependent on how well you take it down. As you see here, I'm not really taking down the hairstyle. What I'm doing is retouching the front section of my hair so that it, stop, it's, it keeps staying new. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to extend this hairstyle for up to six months. If possible, I might even go with it the whole year and take it down on the 7th of December. And then we'll see how much growth I'll have experienced. But then again... The problem with this is that if I decide to do that, the hair will be so heavy because I'm always adding more hair to the hair. So maybe I might take down the style at six month at the six month mark because I don't want too much weight weighing onto my natural hair, which will lead to breakage. But at this point, so as you can see now, you see what is usually under the butterfly lock. So the butterfly locks are in no way, shape or form intertwined with my natural hair so my natural hair is just covered under the natural lock uh, under the butterfly locks and this gives me maximum protection to my hair because it's not exposed to elements such as cold heat wind and all that so drying is not something that i have struggled with during this time the other thing is that once I moisturize my hair in this style or once I wash my hair in this style, I'm sure that for the next week or so, my hair will stay moisturized and hydrated. That is something very important. There's a difference between moisturization and hydration. I have talked about it in a video that I'm going to link. So kindly check that out for you to know the difference. So 
the other thing that I know for sure will be a hassle is the takedown process of this hairstyle because as you can see I'm only taking down two pieces of the locks and it's already been about 20 minutes so, so far actually it's 10 minutes but that is because I had already done half I was already halfway before I started recording but I know for sure that this hairstyle will take a lot of time to take down but who cares it has served me for a long time so it's it makes sense for it to take a long time to take down and anyway this time I'm doing and redoing the hair so makes sense why it's taking a little bit longer but I'm looking forward to what will be when I'll be taking it down the other thing is that I have learned that when I'll be taking it down I'll first remove the synthetic hair and then deal with my natural hair because I don't want to be frustrated when dealing with my natural hair so I might do it on a, on one evening, take out the synthetic hair and then the next morning I will deal with my natural hair where I'll be taking it down, removing the build, do, dealing with the build up. So guys, I am so, so overwhelmed. I'm so overwhelmed with how much growth I'm seeing with my hair, how much length retention there is and to be honest i feel like this is a hairstyle that i will be wearing more often than i planned to but i wish i knew about it earlier but then again if i knew it about it earlier we wouldn't be here you know so i'm glad i got to know about it right now so this will just be a repeat of what i've just been explaining how the takedown process would be me showing you how gentle i am this is sped up at a speed of times two so that's why it looks like i am handling, handling my hair a little bit rough but you can be sure within with it being sped up it doesn't look as bad as some hair videos that i have seen on the internet so guys let me know what you think what are your thoughts have you would you try this is it something that you're thinking about is it something that you would consider putting in a hairstyle for up to three months and are you patient enough to take it down because i can tell you the longer you put in a hairstyle the longer you leave it in the longer it will take you to take it down because of the build-up all the tangling that will have taken place all the shedding because you have to be very careful getting out the shed hair but the most important thing is that i have learned with long-term protective style is you need to remember that at all times there is hair under that protective style so you need to take care of your hair even when it's in the protective style because if you don't you are going to pay the price and i can tell you for a fact if you have to pay the price you won't like it so don't let it get to that point be sorry be hands-on be on toes even when your hair is in protective style because anyway the work is not as much as it would be worried for your hair to be open or not in a protective style because your hair is already put away so you're not dealing with it you can access your scalp so if you're doing a long-term protective style do a long-term protective style that allows you access to your scalp and allows you to give your hair tender love and care and that is one of the reasons why i have oil instead of grease i have done a video telling you the benefits i have realized from grease but grease i use it when i don't have added hair because grease won't go well into the added hair to uh to do what i want it to do but that doesn't mean that i don't use grease on my scalp when i have added hair yes i do only that i minimize the amount of grease that i use i only use it on my scalp and on the hair i use an oil because i'm sure the oil will seep into the synthetic hair and get to my hair and my hair will stay hydrated and moisturized because that oil will lock in that moisture it might not do a good job like grease would do but it's better than nothing another thing is that i have been washing my hair every two weeks when i've not washed my hair every two weeks to be honest there's like the last time i washed my hair was in 
February the start of February I've not washed it again I'm planning on washing it in this March but where I live it's quite it's kind of cold as anyone might have told you all you might have seen yes it's cold here and so my hair will take longer to dry and I don't think there are salons that I can go to to get a dryer the salons that I have seen they don't have dryer so that's how much hair I have shed from the two sections which is pretty much okay because that's long hair that's not small small hair that's super long hair so i'm sure it's shed here so that's why i'm not worried so i'm just redoing the part into a three strand braid and with that i will just go ahead and wrap the butterfly locks on it and leave my hair in there until it's take down official take down time for this this was a retouch that i thought i should come on here and tell you things that i have learned during this long-term protective time that i didn't intend for it to be this long but i hoped it would be this long so it's that we had the three months mark come thursday this week and uh, moving forward i am so proud of myself knowing that i can put in i can live in a hairstyle for this long if you've gotten to this far kindly consider subscribing support this girl it's the only way that you are you show me love and support what i do and also don't mind me i'm just looking at my teeth and also it's the only other way that you let youtube know that you love this type of content so it will be showing you my content so kindly consider subscribing like and share the video i will see you on the next one